Hi, my name's Keith Cooper, No Flight Images, and um, I have a new toy to play with. Oh, sorry, be a bit more serious about that. A new professional grade uh, monitor to have a look at. Um, I've used BenQ monitors for quite a few years and just recently they contacted me and said would I like to have a look at the new version of the one I've used well that I've had about seven or eight years that I include in most of my videos which is the 2700 uh, 27 inch monitor. This one is the SW272U and they tell me it's their best photography oriented monitor yet. Um, now I'm going to have a look at it but I thought I'll open it up and see what we get and uh, since this is YouTube do the classic unboxing. Um, now if you've got any questions about this monitor let me know because I'm going to be using it for some more detailed testing. I'm going to have a look at calibration because features it's got it has some updated profiling software now for hardware calibrated monitors like this you should always use the software that comes with them uh, you can use the older pme palette master elements for software this one's called palette master ultimate it's supposed to be faster uh, but it won't run on some of my old macs so it will you know it's a matter of doing two things this also the um, hotkey puck that i use on the monitor that I've got for changing settings if I wanted to use it for video use um, is now wirelessly connected one and as before there's a shading hood so everything's there. Now as with their higher end monitors you actually get a factory calibration report. Now if you really know what all this stuff means then I'm sure you'll get some greatly useful information out of it. I see it as more a commitment to quality of manufacturing and quality assurance. Now it has uniformity, it has all the various settings and stuff. If you get one of these do just put this away somewhere in a drawer somewhere. Um, maybe if you know what all these numbers mean and the relevance of them you can use it but um, see it mainly as yeah, a commitment to the quality of the monitors. Now, I've used the, say the SW2700 I used, um, I've had that since I think about 2016 or something like that, and it's still fine. So, um, you know, I'm quite happy with the monitors, and which is one of the reasons when they said, will you have a look at one? Well, yeah, no problem whatsoever. Um, let's do, see what we've got inside it. There are lots of bits of cardboard, lots of bits of plastic. Now I'll just take some of these out and then we'll have a look and I'll get this box out of the way and we'll see what it is we've got. Um, and I can even try and guess what some of the parts are. Um, now that one, I think, oh, that's, who knows, it's a cover for something. Let's have a look. We have a box. Um, I do go overboard on the cardboard here, uh, so there's no plastic anymore in this, no foam. But that, let me just tear it open so you don't have to. Yes, it is just packing. Very neat bit of packing. Now, this bit, I know what this is. This is the monitor stand. This bit's been redesigned from before. And uh, let's just take this off. And there we have the monitor stand. There's a base that this fits onto. Uh, this bit goes onto. I mean, this bit goes onto the base. This bit goes onto the back of the monitor. Um, you know, have a look at the documentation when you're assembling these, because this one here it's a standard fitting and it is a clip-in fitting for the monitor. You do not want to put your monitor stand together, put your nice new expensive monitor on it and then it falls over or worse falls over and then falls off the desk. So that just from the sheer weight of it is the stand. A very solid cardboard. <laughs> right, yeah, this is this is this monitor is literally just turned up, uh, shipped by UPS uh, from the Netherlands, I believe. So I'm quite pleased that it's well packed. There's no damage to it. We've got what looks like a monitor cleaner, some batteries, 
add some information, batteries no doubt go for the wireless puck. We get the cables. Now, BenQ's monitors um, always come with a good set of cables. Uh, here we have the hotkey puck. Uh, here we have the, the wireless one. Previous one used a uh, USB connection connected into the back of the monitor. Um, that lives underneath the monitor on mine. Uh, this one is now, this is wireless, so I suppose that means I can move it. But it's, this is not something you'll alter very often. It's a nice touch, but you know, it's, it kind of falls into the nice touch, nice bit of design, not necessarily something you definitely need. Mains cable. That looks like a USB-C lead. That looks like an HDMI lead. There is a display port. And there is a USB lead. Now this is the USB up lead, uh, up connector from the monitor. I'll have a look at that when I look at the setup and everything for it. Um, we've got all the various bits and cables and there that looks like another mains lead. I'll add that to my collection of useless European mains leads because we have different ones here, but it is one. So that's the one you're likely to use in Europe. Um, just add to my collection. And there is a set of leads. It's a full size. The uh, display port adapter is a full size one. So you may need a display port adapter you know, for fitting it to if you've got a monitor with a, you know, a computer with a smaller display port setting on it. But this is aimed at relatively new systems. So you'll use a USB-C connection or something like that. Um, I don't have any absolute brand new Macs. So uh, there is a limit to uh, what I can test, but um, we shall see. Here's the actual screen itself. This feels like the monitor, the base plate. It is nice chunky section there that connects with this. This is where I go, oh yes, look, it goes like that. And there's a screw fitting underneath that you can hand tighten up. So there we go. Tighten that up fairly tight. That's a screw. And there we got the base plate for it. So that'll do for the monitor. Now, I'm going to be a bit more careful taking the monitor panel out here because obviously you don't want to touch it. You don't want to damage it. It's got the same kind of coating that uh, some of their other new monitors have, low reflection coating. Um, now, I work in a relatively dark environment and I Yes, obviously don't do my editing somewhere like this. Uh, and I'm quite careful in controlling the light that hits the screen. But I, when I'll do the tests of this, I'll, I'll have a look at how much better this screen is perhaps than the old screen. Um, shine a torch on it or something like that so you get an idea for it. Now, this box here, this is, I should suspect, the monitor hood. And yes, it is. It's all the parts for the monitor hood. These just clip together and it allows you to use the monitor in either portrait or landscape mode. Now, here's the actual monitor itself. Now, the monitor has a quick start guide on it. I will have a look at this. I will have a look at the various bits and pieces. And um, obviously I've put the stand together here and have a look at this. Uh, this piece of paper also protects the screen as well. So don't take this off until you've finished messing about with everything, setting everything up. So um, let us just put you carefully in there. And now, Let's move some of this assorted cardboard and assemble a few bits and pieces. Right, let's clear the boxes and a few things away. Put some in there. Uh, the hood here, the parts of it, there are two sides, three parts to the top. They just clip together. If you look at the instructions here, it's fairly clear, but you don't have to force anything. They just go together and there's a, a solid click. Now, in terms of attaching the monitor here, 
notice I've still got the piece of paper on the front. This is one of those bits that, let's just hook that on the tabs there. And there we go, it clicks in and that is solid now. It's got a nice heavy base. Now I'm not going to take this screen off because I've got to take this upstairs and, uh, and there's no point in sort of carting the monitor about uh, needlessly unprotected at the front here. A uh, few things I'd note from this, oh, this just drops on top of here. There are some little fittings on the top here. There's also a little panel on the top that opens up so you can put a monitor calibrator through it. Now, Controls, as before, are on the bottom here. I've noticed that this monitor has put the external USB sockets and the card reader socket are now at the front underneath this edge here. The original 2700, the one I use in most of my videos, has got the sockets at the side where they're very easy to get. Now I've noticed, and, and it's but a minor quibble, um, with some of the newer designs, of monitors that I've looked at, um, the ports were moved around the back out of the way. That meant that if you had access to the back of the uh, monitor, you could plug things in no trouble. But if you were against a wall or anything like that, it was just that little bit more awkward. But I'm good, glad to see that, and I, I do occasionally just attach things to this. For example, when I'm doing profiling, uh, there's a USB dongle that activates the x -Rite profiling software. I'll plug that in there. It lights up so it reminds me that it's there. It's convenient to do for that. But um, there we have, it is a very solid base and monitor. Now, I'll take this back upstairs and connect it up to things and see how it actually works. But anyway, there we go, there's a monitor I've got. If you've got any questions, let me know. It's people's questions about stuff like this that gives me ideas for new videos, bits and pieces. Um, it's, I've, I've got some various bits of work on at the moment, so it's gonna be sometime over the next few weeks that I, it, produce some stuff looking at this monitor in, in particular. But I just thought I'd show you that it's actually really easy to set up. Um, I commend the design of the cardboard box. The amount of cardboard that is crammed into that box, that is so rigid. You could probably stack them 20 high and it would have no problem whatsoever. Um, there's no polystyrene in it whatsoever. It's all folded cut cardboard, which nice touch to it, thought of that. But, here we go, one 27 inch 4K monitor. Anyway, hope that's been of some interest. Thanks for watching.